All right, zero news time. It's all. It's here, guys. It's here. It's zero news. All right, they're saying it's like there's there's so much to announce. It's crazy. It's like there's more there's more news than there was tournament. Wow. <laughs> you guys enjoyed your your four hours, four almost five hours of tournament. Get ready for six hours of news. Gr mats decrease. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Well, first, Banger G next coming in. Hopefully this means new skins. Oh my god, more skins to buy. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, we're covering Shion. Sorry, Shion. Why is he so tall? Yeah, we... we... Yeah, why put us in the corner. Alright, first card reveal is... Ooh, it's Esras. Alright, so Esras is a triple rare perfect guard with the ritual ability. Uh, so in hand, it's a, it's a PG. But after you guard with it... You bind it. And in Drop Zone, GB1, Ritual 3. So Ritual means how many Grade 1s you have in the Drop Zone. So Ritual 3 means if you have three or more Grade 1s in the Drop Zone. You can choose another Esras from your Drop Zone and put it to the bottom of the deck and retire one of your rear guards to bounce this back to hand. What do we think? I think it's the fact that it binds itself after what you a it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Under strike buff, let's go, Banger Shore best deck. <laughs> Bro, they went, we're sick of these Bermuda games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just play CCPGs? Honestly, I mean, being able to pop your owls, which I'm assuming are going to be in this, is nice, but I hate it here, damn. <laughs> that bad. Oh, Morfessa. My oh, girl, let's go. All right. Drag Wizard Morfessa, also triple rare. GB1 Ritual 3. When she attacks the Vanguard, she gets plus 5k, 14k attacker. And Rigasa with GB1 Ritual 3. When the attack hits a Vanguard, you can counterblast one, search your deck for grade 1, and call it. And in the drop zone, this card gets grade minus 1. So, she adds to your ritual counts. It has to hit Vanguard, though, so. I mean, Vanguard attacking Regard is pretty normal nowadays, anyways. Depends what the van what the strides do, man. <laughs> oh, Pressa getting morbid, man. Drag Wizard more best. <laughs> Lord Lord in shambles. Doesn't matter. Still Prince money. Prince. Prince. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Drag Heart Lord. Vanguard Circle Ritual Three. At the beginning of your ride phase, you can put two non-trigger cards from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck. Doesn't have to be grade ones. Um, then for that turn, the next time you stride, you do not pay the cost. And then, when you unit stride, so you can count us one and retire one of your rear guards to search your deck for two grade one or lower and call them. And Vanguard Circle in place gets plus 3k. Okay, so... No changes, right? Just... No changes, yeah. Yeah, this recycles your PGs too, even your, like, uh, counter-charging PGs, so that's nice. And then... Doesn't call before retire, it does not, no. So you have to have stuff on field before you strike. That's normal, but the thing is, like, for, like, Asha and stuff, they, like, buffed it so that you call before you do the thing, right? Yeah. I don't think the water. Don't be able to not deck out. Yeah, that's obviously the the biggest part of this. All right, Lord, looking good. Like this art is very nostalgic for me, man. And of course, drag driver Luard. This is the V player. Uh, the the the, <laughs> the very uh, triggering card. Ritual three. Banger circle. When placed, flip anything in your G's on face up. Search your deck for a grade one equal to the amount of drag driver luards in your G zone face up and call them. And for that turn, uh, for each grade one in your drop zone, those units get plus 1k power. So it calls up to the amount that you have face up, so this is going to be a four of. And then GB3 once per turn, um, choose two cards that are not triggers from your drop zone, put them to the bottom of your deck, and then. Retire one of your rear guards with the ritual ability, and this unit gets a crit for that turn. So you gotta attack with this to back. I mean, if you remember the old drag driver, it wasn't really that cool anyway. So I mean, this does the same thing. Yeah. I mean, it's like the it's like the V drag driver it fills up your board, and then it gives a crit to itself. Sadly, not to your other other stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's. For zero terms, this is fine. Like, you get a board fill, 
Yeah, you can technically run three of this too. So like you persona flip on first stride and then on second stride you just uh flip anything and just call two, I guess. As long as you play with your triggers in Lord, yes, you play um Belial Owl. As long as they print like grade, oh, one, grade one intercepts or something like that. I'm ready for grade one intercepts. Yeah, otherwise, you mm. make a field of grade ones that don't do anything. <laughs> I'm just curious if we get Ogma or not. I'm assuming we will get Ogma. Cursed Eye Raven, yeah, that's also played. What's that, Brun? When the attack is of anger, Kamas one, draw one. Swordbreaker. I haven't seen that grade two before. Oh, look at that G-Zone. Spectral Blaster. Oh, Kazuma! Let's go, Kazuma! <laughs> Everyone's boy. Everyone loves Kazuma. Stand trigger on the Lord. Okay, okay, okay. I like that, I like that. Gonna be even spicier with Dagda around, too. Whoa, look at that value! Let's... Alright, call three. All the sword breakers. Draw bajillion cards. Oh, and then you use his skill to retire the freaking. uh... Oh yeah, because you can call stuff out, and then retire. And now you get to call two more, so you just call out the PGs. Okay, yeah, because this is ritual abilities, so actually, like, they're good targets for, um... For your retire skills. Hi, cousin with this. That's right. Damn, big hand, dude, big hand. Oh, there's a starter as well? What's that grade 2? I don't recognize these grade 2s in hand. They probably didn't do anything until now. Yeah. Alright, so you put back two non-triggers and retire a ritual. Whoop! Get the crit. Very nice. All out the Morphessa. <laughs> All the freaking... I mean, I guess this is... Pretty good, but look at that hand, dude. <laughs> okay, so you hit nine hand with this, I think. Crazy. Alright, you hit the nine hand. Now you have two PGs yeah. in hand. You have a crit. Yeah, I guess, um... I guess you don't really need draws, maybe. <laughs> Just hit double stand here. Oh, here it is. Here's that stand. Yay, hey, there we go. Of course it is. Wow. How unexpected. Yeah, because Morpheus will call something. You don't... Okay, well... <laughs> Morpheus will call something on hit, so they could have just kept with one stand. Nice. I like that they're playing against Chrono, too. Is gonna replace okay, itself? Thing? Oh, it replaced itself! Yeah, wait, that's sick. Well, it's more you yeah, it you hit. Yeah. Cannon must one. Stand synergizes with Morpheus, just like in premium. Yeah, call it 11k attacker. Looks, I mean, yeah, it's just a, another good aggro deck. Welcome to the Paladins, Shadows. You are acting like Gurgwit and, and Olmo. Nice. Looks pretty good. I think you you probably just run as fast because it has Ritual in it. So buy the cards to get the ride. Yeah, it does. Oh my god, that means we get the Henry skin next time there's a event. Ooh! G next. New skin, so we have the Kazuma skin for Shadow Paladin, the G-Next Chrono skin, and Jaime's G-Next skin, which doesn't look different at all. After rebuy skins again? Well, I think you still get the right animations and stuff from the old version of those two. Oh, ranked Luard! It's Lack Art! It's Lack Art! Oh my god, it looks so good. Really good. Yo! Oh. Wait, move us, move us to the side. We gotta see the card. Yeah. Oh, ah, that's nice. I'm surprised it's not the G. I thought it would be Chrono Jet G this season. Ah, it, it looks good. I'm, I'm... <laughs> that, that's it looks pretty I think it looks good, good yo. <laughs> Will this revive the rank ladder? Will people sweat for Luard? Will lack revive? This all looks insane. This, this looks better than the V art, in my opinion. Yeah, no joke. G special deck. And deck support? Deck, like, um, improvement set? 
All right, so for 12 clans, so we have uh, all the paladins plus angels. Oh, no, yeah, that's all the paladins plus angels, I think, plus... Okay, so these are decks that contain 2 GR, 16 triples, and um, 4 heal SPs. Oh? So you can trade GRs for anything in these boxes, I'm assuming? Yeah, so you get GR exchange. You can exchange for GRs from these sets. So from sets G1 to G6 and Fighter Selection 1. Hold up. At Game Studio doing something cool? Oh, is it paid? Yeah, let's see the what's in the G special deck. We get two next days. Wow. You can get. Wow, what? That's that's really good. You get full decks. You get full decks. What? It's it's probably going to be paid, but that's a good deal. Four Thurias, dude. You can play your dirty Neo Nectar deck. Four Thurias, two Dream Spinnings, two Air Miles, two Next Stages. Like, that's a lot of value. The Asha deck is, like, complete, too. Like, I think the, that is the really Gear Chronicle nice. one is really good. Like, the Gear Chronicle one is also really good, yeah. That's really nice. Like I would probably, I might buy the, I might buy the royal one because I only have two air miles, and they're doing this for twelve clans. Wait, there's more. Okay, we got shadows and golds and angels too. So if you're missing raptors or diablo, yeah, you get full. Uh, I guess the gold one, the GR is not a. It's a because they only put the old stuff in here. So for gold, it's not very good value. Yeah, the heals are SP. You get SP heals. SP heal guards for each clan. Ooh, Messiah. Ah, uh, it's not Big Crunch. Pale Moon one is quite good. Pale Moon one is actually quite good. Yeah, Kagura has Legend and the Great. Dude, these, this is nice. I just wonder how much it's going to cost. Please be good value. Please give. I hope the anniversary gives everyone gives everyone like lets people choose one. That would be a way to revive this game. I can see them giving us one medal. I really hope they give us one medal for this. I'm probably out. So far, I want pale moon and royals. I think that's like that has stuff I don't have. Oh, you get two night rooms. The grand blue one's pretty good. Oh, grand blue's very good. What the hell? That's like a full G zone. Oh, Bermuda too. Olivia, Lambro. Dude, these are really good. What's the catch? It's gonna be like Ichiman. It's gonna be like 10k yen for one. Actually, Aquaforce is missing title board though. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, yeah. But having two Lambros is like, is good. But you never get to Lambros without title board. <laughs> yeah. So you have too many GRs, the Nairos one is really good. Okay, so the deck improvement set gives you one GR exchange medal, 100 crystals, 500 orbs, and 1,000 pieces. What? 9,000 yen? No, 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 it's 7,000 7, yen. 7,000 yen, yeah, yeah. That's all. Mm, it's cheaper than gem. <laughs> the deck improvement set? So yeah, they're saying it's like it's not random triple rares. Damn. <laughs> Japanese people saying it's cheap. Okay, the GR exchange is 3,500 yen. 7,000 yen gets you like, what, 70 packs? <laughs> Which does get you a couple of DRs, I guess, but doesn't get you a Persona Flipper. I guess the thing is, like, if you already have these cards, you get a lot of GR mats that you can actually exchange for stuff. I'm, I'm just debating if I'll buy one. I might buy, like, one for... Because I guess they stick around, so... $35 for GR? Yeah. That's pretty crazy that they, they think that's okay. That's pretty crazy that they think that 35 bucks for a GR is okay. Surely there's gonna be one free medal. 
one free GR exchange medal for the anniversary, right? <laughs> TBH play Overdress? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> you can you can play Vanguard TCG competitively for less price than one of these decks. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's these are nice, but like it's just a bit too expensive. Like it's just I feel like people in gacha games, like, 3,000 yen is, like, the perfect thing. 3,000 yen is a spark, and that's just, like, boom. People are willing to pay it. Like, when you make it 7k, it's like, dude. Yeah. Alright. I'm at Zero Aichi Birthday Festival. This is gonna be the mid-anniversary. 2.5 anniversary. Let's find out what's gonna be the feature. Starting off with the campaign. Alright, so... You can change for items, like the newest set packs. Then we're gonna have the Enter G next. Uh, it's gonna be the oh, G skin medal, including gem set. Wow, who would have thought? <laughs> double rank points, um, double VP, triple drops, new player and returning player login bonus, which will give you a G special deck. Wow, new players get a G special deck medal? Wait, that's huge. And then you get a comeback G series pack, one box pack. I don't know what that is. And then all fighters get a quest clear GR exchange. Oh, wait, we get a free GR. Okay, that's good. That is good. Okay. Everyone gets a free GR. Everyone gets a free GR. That, that's good. Hmm. It could have been worse. <laughs> it could have been. This is better than the actual anniversary was, though. That is better than. That's better than the freaking two year anniversary. I think we got like nothing for the two year anniversary. That's just like packs and like the the box of fighters collection. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> The box of fire collection was cool, but then Global got it without the anniversary, so I don't think it was an anniversary thing. I'm back when this is... So if you're a new player, you get a G special deck, which is kind of insane. Like, that's a really nice way to tell people to, like, start playing Vanguard Zero. Is like... That is, like, if you can get that as a new player, that's actually quite insane. I'm gonna be real with you. Starting the game and having, like, a full, like, Night Rose deck is crazy. Yep. Like, that's really good. That's really, really good. And you can exchange for more GRs with the exchange ticket. Like, this might be the biggest thing they've announced today. I think of all the announcements today, this might be the biggest. When is this spring? In two months, normally. In two months, normally. <laughs> or is it? When when do you guys usually have... I guess I'll be doing the 2.5 year anniversary. Which I guess is a bit later than two months time. I'm very curious when this is going to come out in English. Because I'd like to probably make a video around that time and be like, Star Playing Zero now. Like, that is big. Yeah, true. Returning players get a whole box. That's actually pretty big. Yeah. A whole box for free for returning players, that is actually pretty big. Yeah, I mean, my laptop just always, always like that. Oh, that's probably because it turned off the AC. That's overheating. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It genuinely is. Oh, it's, I think the G skin medal set is going to be a bit cheaper this month because of the birthday, because of the 2.5 year anniversary. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay, yeah, I love it. <laughs> what value? Separate. Alright, up next. There's some merch. You can buy merch. Real merch. Tangible merch. You have a uh, badge, a plate acrylic stand, and a uh, acrylic card key holder. We'll get the IG art as a play in global. Oh yeah, true, you probably will. You probably will. All right, and then of course, Grand League Championship Summer is gonna be in August. On the 21st is gonna be the day one, and the 28th is gonna be the day two final. So we'll be back on the 28th. Time to mark it down in the calendar already. I always do. <laughs> I love the design for this one. It's cool that they gave us a GR exchange medal at least for all players. That's nice. There are some stuff I have like th I have like random three ofs that I would like to turn into four ofs, like Big Crunch. So pretty happy about that.